is Sean and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on The Hills New Beginnings Season 2 Episode 5, You Told Her. So it starts off with Jason and Brody surfing. They met up at the beach to go surfing while Heidi, they show a clip of Heidi working out and um, getting her baby body ready. They also show a clip of Caroline and Caitlin popping that bottle of champagne. Um, I'm not too sure about what they were celebrating. Um, then they go in showing Ashley and Audrina. So Ashley is very excited about this party because she says her husband's been sober for a year now and, you know, she they want to celebrate that he's been sober for a year and she also wants to include the baby announcement because nobody knows she's pregnant and they want to include the gender reveal also so it's going to be a three four party um she talks about how while Heidi got on the last episode you know when they was out vacationing and Heidi was dancing on the floor with her legs wide open she was busting it open for Spence or whoever was there uh and she had that nip slip situation going on and she just wanted to be a really nice conservative party she's gonna have her daughter there she's gonna have her parents there she's gonna have family there to you know for for her husband's sobriety and for the new baby that they're welcoming. So she just wants Audrina to know it's not that kind of wild party. And she don't want to see none of what went on when they was on vacation. And that, so after that, they go into the clip with Brody and Spencer. Spencer went and got all this expensive meat and vegan um, products and brought it to the burrito store and got it got a burrito made basically a $60 burrito trying to get his body in shape so he can be ready to have that baby that him and Heidi been planning uh, they talk about Audrina and how she told Heidi that they kiss or they have been kissing, whatever the case is. And, you know, he talks about how he doesn't want anything serious. Him and Heidi, him and, sorry, him and Audrina always flirts. And he wants to be able to move how he want to move when he wants to move, basically. He's not looking for anything serious. He's just fresh off a divorce. He just fresh off a divorce and a breakup. Because he broke up with that um, blonde girl. I can't remember her name. Because she was just so short-lived. And um, he's not looking for anything serious right now. Audrina's just something fun to do right now, I guess. Uh, the next clip is Audrina's meeting up with Whitney and you know Whitney's like yeah I wish I could make it I would love to come to the party but you know my sister's in town and I want to spend time with my sister so unfortunately she couldn't make it to the party and Heidi explains to her that well she she told her what kind of party it's not only a sobriety party she said since you can't make it i'm gonna tell you what kind of party it is it's also um a baby announcement and a gender reveal um whitney was shocked as everybody was and um she talks about you know She talks about Sean. Yes, that's his name, Sean. She talks about Sean and how he's been gushing 
how she, he's 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 a nice guy and she's kind of not feeling him that way then she talks about Brody who she's absolutely head over heels for who she she's also fresh off of the divorce so it's like what are you doing you had a nice guy Sean was a great guy for Audrina you know, and she just constantly chooses the wrong guy. She's just attracted to the bad boy who don't even really want nothing serious with her. And she's looking for something serious because she talks about how she has a daughter. And she, she's talking about Brody and just, you know, gushing over him, basically. Uh, I think she also talks about um, her telling Heidi it was a gender reveal also. And when the title, the title, I didn't get the title at first until I really watched it all the way to the end. When they said you, you told her basically like everybody know Heidi's trying to get pregnant and Heidi and Spencer have been doing all these things planning and time and temperature and ovulation kits and she hasn't gotten pregnant and now boom you know Ashley's pregnant she's probably gonna feel some type of way about it but yeah moving on she was telling Heidi how she was telling um Whitney how Heidi's upset because she tried to explain to Heidi you know, we're having this party for Jason. Um, you know, Ashley was a little upset about just the way you, you, you acted at that party. It was just a little too wild at that party. It's not that kind of party we're having here. It's a sobriety party. Um, drinking is welcome, but... Again, it's a sobriety party. Why would you even want to drink? I was watching the show and it was like, a lot of people was asking, do you drink at a sobriety party? What's going on? It's a sobriety party. Why would you drink at a sobriety party? That would be the one time you're going to support a friend from being sober for a year. Why would you want alcohol in that setting? I just, I don't get it. But... She tried to explain to Heidi, and Heidi got so upset. She felt like Ashley was being fake, and and everybody was letting loose, and she was trying to get let loose. And I kind of understand where Heidi's coming from because she's just she's she's stressed. She's you could tell she's stressed. Her and Spencer's stressed. They're really, really, really trying really hard to have a baby, and it's not working out. And when situations don't work out the way you want it to, sometimes you get really frustrated and really stressed out. And her way of relieving that stress was, hey, I'm on vacation. No kid. I want to let my hair down. I want to let loose. I want to have a good time. I don't care. I want to drink and just have fun. And that's the way Heidi was looking at it. Everybody else was looking at it like, whoa, you had a little too much to drink. You're acting a little too crazy. And she didn't understand where Audrina was coming from. I don't know how well Audrina explained it to Heidi. Because further along when she's talking to Spence, she's just like, yeah, um, Audrina told me, Ashley was talking all this shit about me. And it's like, Okay, Audrina, why did you tell her everything she said? Just summed it up. Hey, it's a sobriety party. So um, I don't think it's going to be any drinking. That's it. You ain't have to tell her everything. Oh, your breast was out and you were split in on the dance floor and it was just so provocative. You didn't have to tell her all of that. You could have just say, hey, it's a sobriety party. Please come support Jason, your friend, and... Um, just, you know, we're not going to be having alcohol at the party. Hey, after, if you want to go get a drink, that's fine. Before, if you want to take a shot or two before, 
that's fine. But don't come there thinking that you're going to be drinking. Um, next scene would be Caitlyn. She meets with Caroline. They meet up at a park where there's like rides to... It was like swan rides. And I'm just like, all right, Caitlyn, you know that this girl likes you now like what are y'all doing here in the rain and it's just like she's playing with her hair compliment her over and over and over and you could just clearly tell caroline is very much attracted to caitlin and i don't know caitlin got her blinders on and she's just looking straight and she's not looking anywhere else uh, the next scene, Audrina meets with Sean on a date where he rented out the rooftop for her. And I thought that was very romantic. I thought that was just the perfect person for Audrina. Somebody who spoils her, somebody who treats her right. Somebody who's just trying to make an honest woman out of her. And she just don't want that. She don't want that. She want to go run and chase after Brody. Who's just clearly off of a divorce and a breakup. And even what after the divorce, it's like after the divorce, he ended up in a relationship with somebody else other than you. When will you get it? It's not. He's not looking at you like that. He's looking at you as a fun thing to do at the time. I don't know. Adrena just drives me crazy because she just messed up a good thing with Sean who rented out that rooftop for her and she tell he tells her straight off the back I'm feeling you I like you you're a beautiful woman inside and out I love your personality I like spending time with you and you know she's like uh about that (laughs) basically um, telling him she's all over the place and right now she can't commit to a relationship, which is just bull, which is just plain old baloney. But if that's what she want to do, go chasing after Brody, get her heart broken again, get played like when, um, this guy played her. Justin, Justin Bobby, made her look stupid and told everybody he never kissed her when he kissed her. It's like, you want to go another season looking that way? Go right ahead, Audrina. If you like it, I love it. I'm there for it, girl. Um, so she basically breaks Sean's heart, his itty bitty heart. I honestly think Heidi and Spencer knew what they was doing and he would have been a perfect fit for her. He would have been the perfect person for her. But some people just don't want what's good for them. So Caroline, the next scene we have, Caroline meets with um, her best friend. And he gets her an apartment, a beautiful apartment, might I say. Um, does your best friend have a best friend for me? Because I, I need the hookup on that apartment. And um, she talks about her dad and how after her divorce, she was left with nothing at all. She had to go stay with her parents. And her father was... He was not here for it. He thought she was getting a divorce because she had a whole nother relationship lined up waiting for somebody else. I don't know who because she's still single and she looking like Caroline just because they was in the same location at the time spending so much time together. But it didn't work, sir. It didn't work. It's not always because somebody want to cheat or somebody got other plans or they want to go have a hot girl summer it just didn't work out the marriage didn't work out support your daughter and that's it um her best friend says to her you know i know you have a crush on caroline Uh, i keep calling her caroline caitlin i know you have a crush on caitlin and 
she's like, yeah, you know, I've always been attracted to females, but I never, you know, acted on it. And she's feeling like maybe this is the right time. She's going through a divorce. Maybe it's the right time to go for it. Uh... Next thing we see, Jason and Ashley, they talk about the, 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 you know, the party that's going to be happening and how he's so happy to be sober for a year. And he could now he, he's, you know, so he's participating in the pregnancy, which he was not there for the first one. You know, they hug, they kiss, mushy, mushy, mushy. Um... You know, then we see Audrina in the next clip try to call Heidi, but she ignored the shit out of that call. She <laughs> ignored that call. She's like, I ain't going. I'm going to stay home with my husband and my son. That's it. I'm not going. <laughs> so the next clip we see. Uh, Heidi. Heidi at a house with Spencer where she pours the biggest, when I tell you the biggest, the biggest glass of wine I ever saw. <laughs> she finished a whole bottle of wine, a whole bottle of wine in one glass. I was like, Heidi is <laughs> really pissed. So, you know, her and Spencer sit down for a game of chess. I guess the nanny takes their son to go have dinner or in a story, put him to bed, whatever the case is. And um, she talks about how Ashley's fake and, you know, she didn't like that. She thought her and Ashley was friends. She thought they was cool. And then again, you know, Ashley should have just told her, hey, about even though... Audrina was throwing a party. Ashley should have called her. Hey, you know, you was a little too lit. You was a little too tipsy. You had a little too much to drink. Because Heidi, you was busting it open on that dance floor. And everybody else was sitting down, like, just looking. You know? So, she should have, if she was, you know, her and, and Ashley was that close. Just the way Ashley makes it seem and Heidi makes it seem. Just call her and say, look, you was really, 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 really drunk. Hey, Heidi, you was really, 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 really drunk. And I just want you to know sometimes when you get drunk like that, you're not fully aware of what you're doing. You know, just explain it to her gently, nicely. People are sensitive. She's all hopped up on this baby making thing, hormonal, whatever the case is. Just as if you were pregnant, Ashley's pregnant, you know, just, just explain it to her nicely. She didn't have to have Audrina tell her. She should have came to her herself. But yeah, she talks about how Ashley is fake and, you know, she doesn't want to be anywhere she's not wanted. Facts. If you ain't, you don't want me there, I ain't going to be there. Um, then we see, you know, people start arriving to the party. Danny and Brandon arrives. Caitlin arrives. You know, talks about, you know, how long Brandon been sober for five years. And, you know, everybody starts arriving slowly to the party. You know, Adrena pulls Ashley aside and says, you know, Heidi's not coming. And Ashley's like shocked. She's like, is it because she can't drink? <laughs> yes, yeah, so Ashley's shocked. Ashley's asking, is Heidi not able to come? Is it because she can't drink? Is that the problem? And she's just like, no, I tried to explain it to her nicely, but she just took offense to it. And you know how she kind of slipped up and said it was a, a announcement party and she's like an announcement for what and she's like you know a baby announcement party and you know all these things are coming into play and then she's like you told her and she's like yeah what was I gonna say and she's like you didn't have to tell her you know so 
maybe Heidi feels some way about Ashley talking to Adrena about how she react was acting on vacation instead of talking to her. And also that, you know, Ashley's pregnant and she's been trying to get pregnant for a while now, since the year started. So maybe she feels some kind of way. All of that is taken into play in her head. And she's like, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to drink this giant glass of wine and play chess that she clearly said she forgot how to play with her husband. (laughs) So, yeah, they talk about Jason being so, 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 yeah, they, they, then they was like, you know what, Heidi don't want to be here. The show must go on. They go on stage. They talk about Jason being sober and actually surprised everybody. with like, it's not only a sobriety party. I'm pregnant. And then Heidi's like, bring the baby in so we can find out the gender. And guess what? Boom, they're having a boy. So they already had their girl and now they're having a boy. They're super excited. Everybody's partying. Everybody's having a good time. You know, everybody's shocked. They're like, wait a minute. I golf with Jason. Brandon's like, I'll golf with Jason every two day, two days a week. And I didn't know this. So everybody was shocked. Everybody was excited. Everybody was happy. Seemed like they had a great time. With Heidi there or not, they had a good time. Um, so, you know... Let me see what else. Uh, You know, I think it was Justin. Justin was talking about now he wants to have kids. You know, first he didn't want to have kids. Now he wants to have kids. Seeing that everybody, his friend is on his second baby. Everybody's having kids around him. You know, he's starting to get that little baby fever itch. Now he's trying to, thinking about having kids. He's very, very flirty with um, Caitlyn, I might add. Every time I see a clip with Justin and Caitlyn in the mix, they're just like flirting. I would not be shocked if they've been hooking up. <laughs> uh, Caroline pulls Caitlyn to the side to talk to her about how she feels. And, you know, <clears throat> like I said, Caitlyn was looking straight. She's like, you know, I've had relationship with women before but I feel like this is just because of your divorce and you know it might not be something serious you might need to slow down a bit take your time figure this out you're not sure right now I don't know if you want this (laughs) basically that's what she was saying but yeah they all started talking about you know (coughs) excuse me Caroline and Caitlin was talking about, you know, what happened to Heidi, where's Heidi, what's going on, why she's not there, and, you know, Ashley just was shocked as everybody else, I don't know, but, you know, she found out it was a gender reveal, and she still didn't come to support me, so I don't know what's going on, so they're thinking maybe Heidi's a little jealous, pissed off, jealous, all of the above, maybe she is. Um, this episode was good. I'm waiting for the next episode when Heidi and Ashley talks next time. So, um, it was good. I just, I hated the part where Audrina broke up with, um, Sean. I thought he was perfect for her. But she want to keep mingling in the same circle that she's been in. And then when it don't work out with Brody... She's going to be jealous when he brings another girl around and another girl around and another girl around because he, he's not looking for anything serious right now. He just came. <laughs> he just had a divorce. And he sees his ex-wife every time y'all have a, a, a get-together. Who knows? They might just be, end up back together. So, and then he just had a breakup. So, anyway, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, LaShawn J. And... I'll see you in the next video. Bye.